Hi, welcome to Otter HP. Today we're going to be doing some cooking on the Blackstone Griddle. Janine and I right now are down at Falls Chica State Beach for the next couple days camping and I wanted to cook breakfast with you guys. This morning we're going to do a bagel sandwich on the Blackstone. This sandwich I call my Emerald Bay Sandwich. I got it over at Catalina one day and that's what it was called and the name is stuck. I love a good bagel sandwich. A lot of them that you order out tend to get really busy and have so many different sauces and everything on it. This is a little bit more of a basic sandwich that I think everybody likes. It's going to be bagels, bacon, egg, and cheese. To go with it, I've got some hash browns. We're going to need butter for Janine's. I put an avocado on it for me. A little tapatio for a kick. Salt, pepper, oil, water. That's pretty much everything. It doesn't take too long and it's pretty easy. So join me and let's enjoy a bagel sandwich. Okay, let's get started. With every good breakfast, starts with bacon. So we'll get that down. I will tell you, cooking on this Blackstone, I love it. I got it about a year ago and started cooking on it, and now I find I cook everything on it. I haven't found anything that I haven't been able to cook on it. Enjoy cooking on it. So I'm doing a half a pound of bacon. It's only Janine and I, and you only need two per sandwich-ish dogs like a little piece of bacon. I know I shouldn't be feeding it to them, but I do. We'll get a little bit of hash brown on it. Um, I've watched the shows. I've even done it where I've cooked hash brown from potatoes, dried them out, everything. It's fun, but it's a lot of work. I tend to buy frozen hash browns They're pretty much the same. I've cooked a lot of hash browns. And they always came out good, but never great like a restaurant. And I'm always like, what am I doing wrong? And then I feel, I found out the key ingredient to hash browns is butter. When you put them on, throw some butter up on top. Let them sit. When you turn them over, do it again, and you'll get that nice brown crisp on the outside. Turn some bacon over. As you set up your Blackstone, because we're doing this in a camping spot, everyone's different. So I finally got in the habit of, in my Blackstone bag that I carry, when I get here and set up my Blackstone, I put a little level right on it, front to back and side to side to make sure it's level. There's nothing worse cooking when all your juices are going all around. So what I try to do is have a level in my bag and a couple little spacers just to raise one side up and down. It's changed everything. It's made it so much easier. But it's just one of those, as you cook on it more, you get to a point where you go, I wish I would have done this, I would have done that. I think that's a cool little trick. Just keep an eye on that bacon. I like mine crunchy, so does Janine. So that tends to be pretty good. I, I think as you watch my shows, you'll realize I'm not a chef. I like cooking. I love cooking on the Blackstone. And I figure the more I film and show some shows, the better I'm gonna get, hopefully the better you get, and the more we enjoy this together. Cooking's fun do it especially if you're out camping it's just a fun thing to do it's enjoyable yeah they're looking 
they're ready for a flip. They're looking good. Okay, while we're waiting for those hash browns to cook up, let's go ahead and get this avocado cut up. Nice avocado. Let's go ahead and get our bagels out, start getting things ready. Because once you start getting to the end, it starts going a little bit quick. I found what goes really well is that if you butter the bagel before you start throwing it down, I think it gives that nice little crunch on the inside. Get a couple eggs, a little bit of oil down. Down a little bit. I always break the yolks. I don't like runny yolks on my breakfast sandwich, so I'll break them and let them go that way. Get those bagels on, let them start going. Go ahead and get some salt and pepper in them. Breakfast should be done pretty quick. Next thing to go on is gonna be some cheese. Hope you're enjoying the show. some eggs and get ready to start putting some stuff on. Let's go ahead and flip our bagels over, at least the tops. Bagels came out looking good. Okay, eggs are looking done. So then, once your eggs are done, let's go ahead and flip your bottoms over. Get your egg on there. Bacon's coming. Go ahead and put two pieces of bacon on, ish. You can't have enough bacon. Janine's is gonna have a little bit of avocado. So let's get that down in there. Mine, let's little, throw a little tapatio down. <coughs> Not a lot, just enough to make a difference. Throw your cheese on. Let's go ahead and cover it. Throw a little steam. That'll help melt the cheese really quick. 
Look at that. How pretty does that look? Get them topped off. And there's the finished product. Or better yet. Thanks for watching Otter HB, everybody. Here's our finished product. Welcome to a nice, easy bagel sandwich, bacon, eggs, cheese, some avocado, some tapatio, hash browns. Great breakfast. I hope you cook it. I know someone's waiting for something here. Thanks for watching. Bye.